Are you trying to tell me, the client said, that none of what I'm feeling is real? The feelings are real, George responded, but the way you're seeing your life isn't. It's just a trick of the mind, like a mirage. So you're saying, the client continued, that I'm feeling all of this stress and pressure because of a mirage? George reflected for a moment. Well, he replied, it's a real mirage. Hi, friends. That's a little short piece from a book I've just started reading, um, which is called The Inside Out Revolution by Michael Neal. Um, Michael Neal is the um, mentor and coach to uh, Jamie Smart, whose book I just finished, uh, Clarity. And it's about essentially the same topic that Jamie Smart wrote about, which is the idea of inside out thinking, um, which is a little bit difficult to explain, but um, it's also called Health Realizations or Three Principles Methodology. And you can Google that and you'll find a lot of interesting things. Um, but one of the core ideas is, is that we we see the world um, as if it works outside in, when actually it works inside out. And that is meant in a psychological way. So we feel like our experience is dependent on the outside world, when actually um, our experience is dependent on the inside world. It depends on how we think. Fundamentally, that's it. Um, and so if you think about... I think Michael Neal goes through sort of four levels of consciousness. And he says the bottom level is um, objectivism, which is that whatever I'm thinking is, re is, is a reflection of reality. So if I feel um, hurt, then it's because people are the, outside, the world is hurting me if, and so on. So it's just that my thinking is a description of the world. So everything I think is real. And this is clearly dangerous, and, and most people don't really live at this level, because if you really believe that everything that you experienced was real, you would um, almost, cer almost certainly go crazy, and, and uh, many people who are, who are depressed or criminals or in a really bad state somehow um, are living at this state where they feel that there is an objective reality that they're experiencing directly. This is sort of like the, the metaphor of the video camera. It's like you, you, if you, at the objective level of consciousness, you believe that your mind is like a video camera ob observing exactly what is going on in the world. And that's obviously, we, we know that isn't, isn't so true. We can't n know exactly what's going on. We don't experience it in, in the way that it really happens. So then the next level up is, is the subjective reality, which is, um, Michael Neal talks about it as being an understanding that, um, whatever we experience is a filter is being filtered from the world this is where most people are at they they know that their um, own experience is filtered through um, is filtered through their interpretation through their mind and they at least know that sometimes and and that's really important because it allows them to step back and go oh actually you know maybe i'm seeing things wrong maybe the filter i have on is is wrong and so it it, it actually people then when they're at this level they try and get a clearer filter it's like they're trying to get the right glasses that help them to see the world as accurately as possible but again there's a uh, there's, there's a higher level which is the next level of subjective reality which is i think he called it enlightened subjectivity or something like that which is an understanding that um actually your experience isn't just a f filtered by the world it's actually recreated in your own mind so your own mind creates your experience it's like a um, I think he describes it as a painter drawing a brush on a canvas. So your experience is actually just a blank canvas that you draw everything on. And the way you draw that on, yes, is through sensory experience and so on, but you actually create from new that experience. Um, and, and again, that's a, that's a great way of seeing the world because that's exactly what actually, well, that is <laughs> it's sort of difficult to describe, but that, that, is, that is what happens in your mind where your mind creates the experience on the, of the outside world. But there's even a level higher, which is what he called inside-out thinking, or um, I think there's another name, I don't remember. But he says, at this level, you see um, that reality is actually, um, doesn't, well, I think he describes it as a, a kaleidoscope, that you see the world through a kaleidoscope. And a kaleidoscope jumbles up the world, so you can't see anything clearly. And so... Um, Yes, you're looking at the world, but the experience that you have is entirely dependent on your interpretation. And the kaleidoscope isn't so much something that you can change and fix. You can't get rid of the kaleidoscope that you're looking through or, or improve it. So you have to just live with the experience that you have. And the experience is 
um, this morning I had a sort of epiphany that the experience is really almost uh, psychedelic. When you look through a kaleidoscope, you see funny shapes and colors, and it's it's a it's it's kind of it's funny. It's you, you know you or and it's also disorienting. It doesn't you don't see anything through it. But that's kind of what life is like. I mean, if you give if you gave a human mind to a video camera, it would be like giving it LSD, like some sort of hallucinogenic drug, because the experience of interpreting the world in in such strange and complex ways from from the basic visual information that comes in is um, would be truly mind-boggling for something that is used to recording things exactly as they happen. Um, so. Yeah, the mind does so much, so much interpretation that um, it's and, and it's so 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 complex. It's almost impossible to tease. Well, it's not almost impossible, but it is impossible to tease that apart from from what is really happening. So, um, since it's impossible to do that, the only thing we can do is accept the fact that what we experience is not real. That what the, our thinking in the moment creates our feelings, and then whatever we're feeling is just a result of our thinking. The client that was being talked about just here. Said his thinking was being created by a mirage, as he said, the kaleidoscope. And so, um, of course, it's real, the mirage is real, but that doesn't mean you should, you know, take the thinking so seriously. And that's really the lesson, and it's a, a lesson that I think is really difficult to, to understand uh, consciously and even more difficult to integrate unconsciously. But to be able to live with a true deep acceptance of what happens um, to us and our experience of it and not judge it and, and put ourselves into these patterns where we go deeper and deeper into into our emotions into anger or fear that we find negative and instead just let them be and experience them and then move on and experience something new experience uh, true you know instead of living in the past and recreating our past experiences letting new experiences arise um, that's a true deep powerful way to live and something that has been taught by um, people like this three principles movement, uh, which is these guys call inside out thinking, um, but it's also being taught by by um, um, meditation practitioners like Vipassana and so on. Um, I found that very powerful. So that's just what I wanted to leave you with. Um, I'm sorry, the video today has gotten very long, but um, I'm just curious if. Uh, you can think of a time when you've gotten caught in outside in thinking, thinking that um, reality is created, uh, that your experience is completely created by the outside world and forgetting that, that it's actually created in your own mind. That's it. See you tomorrow.